yeah, here. Oh. Hi, welcome back to episode 4 of season 3 of Food Finders. Today, as you can see here, this is Come the Joy show, okay? Because Seth is nowhere to be found. I think he is really late, he slept in or something. Um, but here we are in Tanjung Pagar, one of my favorite neighborhoods, where we're going to be doing a bit of new and old restaurants in the area. And so follow me along and we'll go find Seth. One hour later. Welcome to another episode of Food Finders and today we are in Tanjong Paga. We already did the intro, now you're oh, just yeah, coming in. Yes. I, I was late to the shoot. Let's go to the first spot. Wait, question. Is mm. Alice lingerie based on Alice it in Wonderland? Who's okay. Alice? So Alice is Ah! ah. Alright, food's here. Do you like pasta? I feel like I sound very ignorant when I say this, but I usually don't like pasta outside of Italy. Okay. But I have been able to find some uh -huh. pretty good pasta in Singapore. I'm a harsh pasta critic. Okay, let's try. Oh, the flavor is so fragrant nice. and strong. Burst of prawny seafoodiness. I'm impressed thus far. Now let's try the prawn. The prawn is really juicy. You know what this reminds me of? The prawn noodle beach. The prawn noodle beach. <laughs> these are so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, they're better. These were what I was so expecting. Because they are better. So, like portion wise, it's uh, pretty, it's pretty decent. decent. So this is the uh, Australian grass fed Australian steak beef. Shack. You can actually see the uh, the marbling, so like the yeah. little white we hold it the up? white flakes. It actually looks a bit aged though, like in terms of the color. It's very buttery though. Mm. I like the flavor though. I, I I really highly suspect this is this was aged. The meat with the sauce is so good. This is like a red wine sauce, buttery to potato. potato. It's more like the French style of potatoes. Like this portion actually like it's really feels, worth it. It's pretty okay, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I stop eating. Okay. <laughs> You know why I can't dessert. stop eating? Because we were waiting for Seth for such a long time. Such a long time. Alright, we're gonna try the mushroom first. It's a shoe puff with gula malacca chantilly cream. The gula malacca cream is not so sweet like what you would expect in normal gula malacca things because usually it's like super sweet. You can see the Asian twist. Pretty unique for a shoe puff. It's very creamy, soft. You taste a lot of coconut. I think like the coconut flavor is pretty, pretty prominent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So something like this is a good for like you know afternoon mm. tea or like a quick breakfast. Okay, what they told me is that they wake up much earlier than Seth and they yeah, come here at four thirty yeah. to bake the croissants. So uh, this was made like like three hours four, before I woke up. It's like five hours ago. <laughs> so inside is strawberry jam and more mm. cream cheese thing. You can see the layers of the croissant quite nicely. It's a bit salty, huh? From the cream cheese. It's definitely a lot more intricate and complex than normal croissants. I think this takes away from the croissant itself because like there's so much going on here. It's slightly heavier than what I would expect yeah. for cream cheese. They were trying to balance it out with the cheese and yeah. the croissant, but the croissant, it got overpowered by the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I would yeah. maybe recommend to go for like a, maybe a different kind of flavors because they do have like a, a lighter, lot of, like a lighter yeah. flavor. They have a pistachio maybe. one that looks pretty good, chocolate pistachio. one. I would give it probably a four. My favorite had to be the steak so far. I'm okay with a four. I'm okay with a four as well. It's I'm I'm a basic bitch. I would come here just for the aesthetics. He's not an aesthetic person. Yeah, I know. Food, Look food. at his hair, guys. Food. Look at his hair. The coffee transition. Uh, uh, uh. Have you been to the place that we are walking to now? Puppies? Yeah, like puppies. I ate there like oh, also oh, you've had puppies? It's actually the guy, the guy who owns it, like they call him Papi. And he's from Mexico. We okay. got cross hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait, don't catch this. This is uh, illegal in Singapore. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! These are frozen margaritas. Frozen margaritas. And we're here at Papi's Tacos. It's a okay. newly opened location that was like, yeah. it was not here before. The first stall is in Sia Street. Yeah, and Papi is from Mexico. Papi means father. Papi means father. No. No, Papi. It, it is, it is, but, it's, but it's not. So I'm Mexican, right? Uh, I, I grew up in the States. Sometimes we couldn't remember not names from people. So yeah, you call okay. them Papi. Hey, Papi, what's up? But uh, you don't really know yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Mostly little girls call Papi to the dads. Or girls call Papi to their boyfriend. Yeah. My papi. papi. So when I say papi's tacos, it's more like tacos for homies, tacos right, for right, friends. Right, right, yeah. You can't get any more authentic than the food that a Mexican is here to, to serve, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So how's the strawberry margarita? You have the salt here yeah. as well, so yeah. makes it a bit salty while you're drinking yeah. the frozen margarita. Your prickly pear, so my, habanero. Yeah. Okay, I actually am surprised that this is not too bad. I thought I wouldn't like a spicy drink. I have this um, non-alcoholic watermelon drink with tajin, T-A-J-I-N, which is a famous Mexican uh, seasoning. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. You guys came late, so you had to say this to me. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Thank, thank you, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. Yeah. My punishment for being late. Yes. Oh my god. Woohoo! Yeah. So good thing this episode is a uh, walking episode. Here is Seth trying to disclaimer every single episode. We better thank eat you, before Bobby. I get drunk. I love the fact that they make their own chips. I like that it's not very oily at all. Yeah. It tastes really light. This is a lot of crap. Oh, spicy. Seems like there's a bit of habanero in like mm. pretty much everything. But you got carrots? Three onion, onion. They gave us this huge ass tiger prawn. Okay. So you said mango salsa, right? Mm. I like that you can taste like the, the grill. And the mango salsa adds more flavor to mm. it, like the salt, sour, spicy. Okay. I think the, the taco is just slightly soggy because like, we probably let it yeah. like, sit for a while. There's a lot of things going on here. It all goes really well with, with the, the prawn. Yeah, the prawn. I add the spicy one. I don't okay. want to add too much of spicy. Okay, I'm sure you can taste it now. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's not over? It gets worse! <laughs> Give me five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, so lastly, we're gonna try the uh, pescado or the fried fish. This is one of the more popular items on the menu. I guess this is in a different soft shell taco. Okay, I don't know whether it's because we just had this habanero sauce, but it's, it's really not as spicy as I thought it would be. Chipotle not always that spicy. The dory fish is really uh, tender. You know what I think? No, I don't know what you think. I feel like we've, we've never really gotten like the same rating. Like, well, sometimes... actually, I feel like you copy my rating yeah, whenever I, I say... Copy. Just I now, copy. I said four. You were like, I also give it a four. Like... Shut up! Three, two, one, four, Three, five. Four, five. Um, I like the crab tostaditas. Yeah, the crab is good. The uh, prawn was good. And then the tiger prawn like taco uh, is really good. Hey, what the? F we totally forgot. Oh my god, you forgot to put Wait. it on! For final thought, let's give your rating. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay. okay, fine. If I look at the whole restaurant as well, the vibes and like, you know how they decorate everything, I would definitely give it a four. I don't know, maybe it's because like Papi actually came out and like talked to that's us. True, like, that's it, true, that's true. It just felt quite authentic. Oh, and shit. Now he's gonna be like, I shouldn't have given her that tequila and shot. Maybe I added a point because of the tequila shot as well. The hat is cutting off blood to my brain, <laughs> so I feel a little bit winded now. Too heavy for your little head. Oh, right. Goodbye. Okay, take it out. Okay, hat transition. So we have Melbourne. Do you think that it's ben. like them trying to say oh. Melbourne, but like you know, like Melbourne in oh. Australia is actually so how you pronounce pronounce Melbourne. Melbourne. Oh, is it? Is it? Yeah. Okay, so Melbourne is really famous for crabs. I'm gonna get the clay pot crab vermicelli soup. I think you're saying that's a new dish. Creamy butter, butter crab, creamy creamy truffle I, I butter remember. crab. You're yeah. saying you came here for plus years, years ago when I first moved to Singapore and we didn't know how to break apart the crab. Oh. They didn't give us gloves back then and the okay. tables were not as nice as it's now. Okay. And guess yeah. what? We didn't bring tissue paper. But so they have they have like, No, no, no. Like last time they did not have that. Not at all. No, they have one. Yeah. One. Don't pick up the phone. It was a disaster for the two of us because it was so messy and it took us a long time to eat all of the crab. But the food was good, just that mm -hmm. it was so messy okay. and we were unprepared. So. Alright, food is here. Let's get the Okay. Wow, it's very big claw. Did that come from a crab or a lobster? <laughs> Alright, please do the honors. Oh wow, all the juices are coming out. Ah, yeah, here. Oh. I think we manageable now. Ooh, tender. There's a lot of meat in here in this one claw. Even if the claw looks big, but then you open it and it's very hollow. I think that's one of my pet peeves with crabs. What does that mean? That would mean that the crab just Change, uh, but it hasn't like into yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you look shell. at the claw sometimes. The more worn out the like, claw, that means yeah. the, the eating, like, grabbing stuff. Thank you for coming <laughs> to Seth's TED Talk. It's quite an honor to be here today. At first look, the soup looks really good. Okay. The soup is really creamy and like okay. very umami taste. I would drink the soup by itself. So in terms of I think the freshness and yeah. you know how they, they prepare the, the crab. Melbourne does know what the hell they do in man. The creamy butter okay. truffle crab. Do you like truffle? Uh, yes. I'm not a fan of like truffle oil though. 
the majority of truffle oil that you buy is not made with truffle. We have it on camera, right? They were actually adding like real truffle into the, uh, the truffle. So it's good that it's not just artificial <clears throat> truffle oil. Yeah, but the sauce itself is very light. It's not super heavy. You've tried the chili crab before also, right? Like, how does it compare? Which, which do you actually prefer? I still prefer the black pepper crab. I asked you chili, you can't give me another black pepper. So chili versus like black truffle. Uh, black truffle. Chili crab is a bit too sweet for me. I'm not a fan of the sweetness. Holy Grab a bowl. Shit. Three, okay. two, one, cheese! <laughs> this is a very big oh. pork rib. I just oh. barely bit into it and it just like fell off. That means it's cooked really nicely. The salted egg flavour for me is authentic lah, it's like pretty real. I would just prefer a bit sweeter, but the meat is really well done though. I think it's a weird combination. But like salted egg and pork doesn't work for you. Yeah, like salted egg and pork doesn't All work right. for me. I like this thing separately, but together, okay. not so sure. Uh, Comments, let me know what you think below. Last but not least, the cheese baked scallop, the CBS. I'm not a huge fan of scallop anyway, so like the cheese just adds it more for Does me. Does it make it better? I actually do like scallops. Uh, this one is not like a, wow, come here and eat the scallops kind of thing. Yeah, right. and it makes sense that they're famous for the crabs as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, they are, they are good at crabs. Have we have four? Yes, the crabs itself really pull it up. The scallop put it down actually for me. I'm a huge fan of crab bee hoon. This is a really good version. My round up would be a... 3.5 Oh shit, you went lower than me You can Airpods. come here for Chinese New Year because they have private rooms no, 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 Oh my no, god, no, don't no, trip, no, don't no, trip! No, no, no. We're at Dickie's Barbecue Barbecue Pit We're here at our last stop of the day. Dickie's Barbecue Pit, I love the name. Dickie's. 3 to 6 p.m. that's a happy hour as well. So, oh, yes. you know, having a he got a here. huge pint, I got a, a little mini. The most famous thing is the beef brisket. Yeah. That part was a bit of like the leaner. My brisket slightly drier. They tend to mix the entire cut of the brisket from one end to the other because there's varying degrees of fats. Is it just really the burnt end of the beef brisket? Yeah, oh okay, this is nice. Just as chewy as a beef jerky, but like not so hard. Mm. I think juniors comes from the um, it tastes like caramelization, like mm. the sugar is like kinda of burnt. I think like, I prefer the pulled pork what actually was good? over the beef. Yeah, mm. what was really good. For some reason I think it's a bit dry here, hence why the yep. pulled pork is a lot softer. I think is a very fast food vibe. Huh? I feel like mac and cheese is definitely a fast food. No kind of I feel like it's more mac and cheese like in restaurants in Singapore. But in America this is like so, too busy and you exactly. wanna make Exactly. Meal, then you do this. So this tastes like what you would taste mac and cheese like in America. Like no, I think food. it's like in the middle. In the middle. Taking a long time to cut that wing, dude. Just use your yeah. hand. And actually, I've been yep. to Austin and Dallas, Texas, and I've had like Texas barbecue. Do they eat like briskets with their hands? Yeah. Um, or like the ribs for sure, wings for sure, burger for yeah, sure. Yeah, ribs for sure. Yeah. Okay. The wings are not bad. Yeah, I like the wings. I like the sauce. And I like spicy wings as well. So this is pretty good. This actually is spicier than the actual spicy sauce. It feels quite soft. Yeah. Oh wow, it just slid yeah, off just, the bone. Just like, Very smoky. Like. The smokiness in the pork rib is more prominent. But it's not bad. I like the bun. It's like a is sweet it a brioche sweet dish. One? Yeah, it's like, it tastes a bit like a brioche or something. I wish the cheese was a bit more melted. I actually like the probably. choice of brisket that oh. they use for the burger. Mm, probably the pulled pork and the wings are actually my fave so far. For me would be brisket burger and pulled pork. One, two, three. Three point five. Ah. Oh, nice. Jinx. Smokiness could be better. I, I think you can potentially just ask for like fatty brisket. So that might actually save it more. Zoom zoom transit. First time. We're back. Check out all yeah, of our right. tapaos from today. So we're super full right yeah. now. Okay, they were dish. Favorite okay. dish. That's favorite very dish. specific. How about you go first if you know? Clay pot vermicelli crab bee hoon. I think it's a very comforting food. Can't really go wrong. Yeah. Fresh wraps. Uh, the soup was really flavorful. That would be comforting. my favorite. That's a good word. I really like Papi's tiger prawn tacos. The beef, the steak the shack beef. from Elvis oh, Boulangerie. Right, right, right. That was memorable. The steak. Oh my god, there's an ant on my hand. <laughs> and then same thing with you, the crappy hoon. Even though I'm not a fa usual fan of crab, crab. I think also yep. my most fun would be Papi's taco. I think price not. point for all of the items, like uh, all restaurants, were pretty decent. Shall we read your previous 
episode's comments. What a joy to have Joy join this joyous video. Wow, <laughs> thank you for that, Alton Wong. Alton Wong. Shout out to Alton Wong. Oh, cameraman the MVP, his urge to resist good smelling food is strong. Hopefully you guys to eat also. Yeah. So shout out to the crew. Joy is so joyful. Eh? And save your hair your too, hair's long, too long. Especially, especially at the, at the back, back of your head. head. Okay, if I pay to eat out, I'm not gonna cook the food myself. It makes sense, yeah. But then I also love hot pot and I cook that outside when right. I'm eating it. But I think it's quite fun. It's an experience. I think that's just the last one. Joy, thumbs up, thumbs up, smiley Who's face. The weird guy Who's the weird guy with Joy? I'm not a weird guy. Always has. Thank you so much for coming to the Joy Show. Um, the Joy Show? <laughs> Just hijacked the show because I came late. Don't forget to like, comment, <laughs> sub below. If you have any questions or comments about questions. me or Seth's hair, feel free to leave it below. I think Joy wants you guys to give the weirdest comment you can think of. So see you next time. This is it for Tanjung Paga. Bye, you guys. Wow, it's damn hot. Oh my god. My, I'm like, you see the sweat on my, my face. Ah. Certain people's uh, pee or urine will only smell a people. certain way if you eat asparagus, because okay. it's based on this like um, based on this chemical in asparagus that makes your pee smell a certain way. So everyone here that's gonna eat the asparagus later, I will save a piece for you know the crew here, and you guys all can go back and check out your pee.